art, work, play every day. This is my family's motto. I grew up in this rhythm. It was what I came to understand as a homeschooler, and later when I attended Oak Grove, amazingly, I was able to maintain the same rhythm. It feels right. It seems balanced. If there is a way to summarize my experience at Oak Grove, the word that comes to mind is balance. Balance also includes a significant dose of, dose of nature. And here at Oak Grove, we get a healthy dose of nature every day. But the extended camping and backpacking trips are some of the most memorable experiences of the last five years. There is, there is a rhythm to nature that's hidden unless you are immersed in it. And for me in particular, I've been encouraged and supported by the community to seek that immersion. Where I seek communion most is the ocean. I started sailing when I was just five years old and surfing when I was about eight. As long as I can remember, I've been drawn to the ocean. As a kid, I spent days at the beach surfing, body surfing, sailing, and now kite surfing. Something about the water calms me and makes me feel whole. If I'm away from the ocean, it doesn't matter where I am or the person I'm with or the thing that I'm doing, I am somehow uneasy, missing the water out of balance. It was during our senior trip to India this year that this came into complete focus for me. I had a revelation about myself and what I truly love. India was itself amazing. The place, the people, the food, everything. But my big realization came while spending extended time away from the ocean. In just three short weeks, I began to lose myself. I was getting anxious and restless. I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe I was getting homesick, but at the same time, I was ready to just keep traveling. So it wasn't my actual home I missed. I just couldn't pin down what it was that was causing my anxiety. Then the final days of our tri trip took us to the coast. A long train ride heightened my anticipation of getting there. When we, arrive, when we arrived, I literally dropped everything and ran to the ocean. I dove in with complete abandon. Immediately, all of my restlessness drained from my body and I was home. I'd found my answer. Since returning from India, I've been training six days a week to earn a spot on the 2016 Olympic sailing team. In the fall, in the fall I'm going to go to school part-time in Santa Barbara, continue to train as much as possible, and my partner and I are building a campaign called Love the Ocean, which is designed to help protect it from the onslaught of plastic pollution. Jacques Cousteau observed, people protect what they love. So that's what I'm setting out to do. Find some balance, immerse myself in nature, and protect what I love. I know how lucky I am and incredibly grateful for my life. I would like to thank everyone who has made it possible. I'd like to thank my mom, um, <laughs> for somehow doing everything and making everything possible. I don't know how you do it. I'd like to thank my dad for making me the person I am today. My grandparents for always lending a hand when I need it. My girlfriend for making everything exciting and fun. My brother for not letting me get away with anything and always making me laugh. All my friends here for making the last five years extremely memorable. Thank you guys. And all my teachers for accepting my crazy schedule and understanding that, um, so that I can pursue my dream. Thank you. <laughs>